Hello sir, my name is Dhaval Pandav. I am from collegeunner.com. A very warm welcome to our interview series which is called Thoughts on Education where we interview with the various dignitaries such as owners, VCs, principals, HODs and teachers. Before I proceed with this interview, I would request you to give a brief introduction about yourself. Sir. Hi, my name is Utsaf Tiwari. I am the Chief Operations Officer at Rahul Education. Been in the field for more than five to six years. I've been practicing, I've been a practitioner of um, education. Um, been re- writing research papers, written a few books, and quite an advocate for quality education and holistic development for students. It was really nice knowing about you and your experience, sir. So my first question is, uh, you have held a key position at Education Institute throughout your professional career. So what keeps you connected with the education sector and how has been your experience so far with this institute? Well, um, to be very honest, the fact of being connected for any educational leader um, that you would also interview others um, is the first fact that we're on teachers at the end of the day. So uh, definitely I do go back to uh, lectures to take lectures at undergraduation and post-graduation level of students and I uh, talk to them about subjects of education like philosophy and history, sociology of education, educational research is something that I'm really keen on uh, you know, exploring and I do teach these subjects. After that, you become a leader. So there's a lot of conditioning that goes into uh, being an educational, seasoned educational leader. And um, that is what keeps you really connected to the youth. At the end of the day, you're here to serve them. You're here to serve the field of education, which is a social service in itself. And um, the very important fact of being connected is to know that you're here to make the youth of today better. You're here to employ, to make the youth of today be employable, to make the youth of today be into the field of entrepreneurship. And um, that is what at the end of the day, being a leader all is all about. I think so, yeah. Uh, being the CEO at Rao Education Group, what is your philosophy of leadership and how would you describe your leadership style, sir? So, um, I am a bit of a theorist. Um, there is not one rule, that, uh, there is not one philosophy that has really inspired me or that has not, uh, that hasn't, that I always stick to or abide by. It's a composure or it's a mix of various theories and philosophies together. Here at Rao Education, we are experimenting every day in, day out. We are trying to make ourselves better. We try to challenge ourselves with the status quo. So uh, there is not one educational philosophy that helps us to define our roles. And that's not true for, that's not applicable to me, including our leaders as well. Whenever we have a talk with our principals and our teachers, we always tell them to challenge the status quo. So you cannot stick to one philosophy. Uh, You have to keep experimenting. You have to know that at the end of the day, what is the goal and what are you here to do for? What does your day encounter for? Um, as I said, it is all about students for us. It is all about you know uh, pushing the envelope for quality education. Um, so I think it is just uh, to, to, to just keep challenging the boundaries, keep pushing yourself. And um, there are a lot of theories. Uh, if you really want to talk about philosophies, there are a lot of philosophies that inspire us. There are a lot of philosophies that we do go back to the books, but um, it's it's a very fluid role to be very honest. And especially if you talk about a personal level for me as a CEO. The role of a CEO is very fluid. It is asked for us to provide backbone to other departments to work for together. So it, it's it's very fluid in nature. Any insights how Rahul Education could be welcoming more students from the different uh, races and economic background? Uh, especially the higher education level, uh, let me tell you that um, Rahul Education work extensively to provide equal opportunities and is very inclusive in nature when it comes to people from different races, gender, societies and sectors and creating an inclusive space, creating a very um, thriving education ecosystem is something that we've always been working for, be it social ability, be it gender ability or be it even um, cultural ability. Um, With the NEP also coming into the picture that is requiring you to have a lot of influx of people from across the sectors and from across the country. Um, We definitely try to do our level best to make sure that the places are very inclusive um, be it in terms of financial support that we provide, be it in terms of the culture or the environment with the faculties, with the students. Um, there is obviously, uh, we have strict policies and zero tolerance policies um, where, uh, with regards to discrimination. Um, definitely, there's a lot of things that we do to create a more, econo- uh, you know, a more inclusive space. What do you think should be Rahul Education's top priority over the next 10 years? Well, the top priority for us um, would be to adopt the NEP and respect uh, what the current generation really wants to study and they really want to do. 
there has been a time where uh, so today's generation what i personally feel and me being part of it as well we have a lot of opinions we have a lot to say and we have a lot to talk about we already know a lot uh, when it comes to the area of study that we are also um, thanks to the digital world that we're connected in uh, it has caused us to have a lot of bloom of information for us definitely would be to drive that information to drive that knowledge that student already has build up on new learning experiences for them create a create a more immersive learning experience and at the end of the day create greater by, by products which can do better to the society so that is something that we are focusing on over the next 10 years we are also in the plan to become become a university we are also in the plan to start up with medical infra medical education uh, offer mbbs programs nursing paramedical courses etc etc what would you like people to know about your institute they may not know well uh, to be very honest the fact that um, uh, we are uh, a campus so let me tell you one very important achievement that we've had uh, we are the only affiliated uh, college uh, affiliated to university of mumbai to have adopted uh, the national education policy way back in 2019 when the draft came out so we took our learnings from the draft nep and we had already adopted lot of the practices that nep was talking about such as social learning cultural learning uh, multidisciplinary education um, when we talk about our rahul college of education they took up they 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 had a lot of flagship programs like rupantan for uh, me they they started something called as sarthi free educational clinic which was inspired by the law college where they also have free legal clinic and they provide legal services free of cost to those who are underprivileged similarly to that um the shri alat tiwari degree college of arts commerce and science had already started something known as multidisciplinary uh, research project that is your black book projects that you have at the end of the third year so you can if you are able to take up a guide from the field of your um study or from your field of your interest so a bms student who is studying management can take up a guide from say it or technology and create a project which is related to technology and management together which is something not a lot of colleges have been doing so we took our learnings from the draft national education policy and now with the national education policy also coming in uh, be, with be, with it being implemented we've rolled out the major and minor elective programs at uh, various courses we are also allowing students to have connection and uh, we've started a concept called as interconnectedness where in students of various field of our colleges can sit together and study together that is a child studying in architecture a child of a civil engineer and a child of a degree college can sit together create a project the lot of things that we are going around right now what do you see as the greatest strength of our education the greatest strength lies in the volume um, of institutions that we have so we are right now functioning at 60 colleges uh, spread across mumbai pune and varanasi uh, that being a strength we also um, know that for a no for a matter of fact that this volume of colleges equates the number of minds that are working in this institution so together these minds come together and create something new we never say that 2 plus 2 equals 4 we say 2 plus 2 equals 5 that is that we are able to create that synergy we are able to create that level of optimism and energy that creates something new every day so that is an innovation that we always try to bring about in our college and that is a very big strength for us what are some of the plans currently or will be designing for raul education um uh, as i said especially in the higher education um we have already rolled out the program called as interconnectedness um i'll just give a short snippet of what exactly are we doing um the rahul college of education which offers the bed program the students are working on problem statements which are related to infrastructure related of how they cause barriers to teaching learning they sit together with the college of architecture and the engineering college civil engineer student and they try to remove those infrastructure related barriers and they add a layer of sustainability to it right the this being said this might sound very minor but peer to peer learning allowing students to think freely creating maker space labs for students and allowing them to experiment and allow natural learning is something that we really banging upon right at the same time concepts like project management which are very similar subjects which are taught in engineering and the architecture students are sitting together law cyber security is a concept which is taught in the degree college and the engineering college again we have a law college so law college faculty and students of all across colleges are sitting together and learning this concept allowing the share of knowledge and information of how a real life example or how a real life simulation would be happening so we are simulating the real world inside the college 
allowing students to make mistakes allowing students to explore themselves at the same time make connections at the same time allowing them to explore and work with various departments and teams together now if you go into a real world and when you start working in the corporate world where you would be required to work with various teams together and be connected with them this is something that we are creating right now also and allowing students to develop life skills um they 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 are developing a skill set which is beyond that beyond the typical textbook knowledge right at the same time delivering the content that we want them to come across with any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and aspiring students uh the biggest uh, uh you know idea or the biggest thing that i would like to tell them is um see the today the youth of today and i i don't know why i'm saying this i think it's being part of the education field that you start feeling old but let me tell you that uh, we can spot a person who's fake from a long long way ahead we know that we care about the earth we care about the planet we care about what is happening in society we care about everything what people might think that we do not people today have moved on from saying good morning sir they start now now started speaking hi sir right there is a change in the dynamic of what we approach and what we see the world how it exists that being said we have a lot of opinions in our mind we have a lot of change we have a lot of ideas in our mind to drive that idea and to drive that change you also are very connected with the digital world to use that digital world to create a safe space we the students of today and the youth of today are very much open to ideas of change at the same time they are very much open to an idea um of creating or driving a force of change right you uh, you what you really need to understand is that you have a bigger responsibility than the generation before you you are the ones who are going to be making the change tomorrow you're going to be the ones who are creating uh, the future for tomorrow so your opinions your facts your thoughts your philosophies are all a catalyst towards the change and you need to drive that and you are the one who's responsible for driving that so that's the only thing be responsible to what you speak be responsible for your action is something that i always tell the youth of today it was great talking to you about education sir thank you so much thank you thank you so much dhaman thank you